Hello Stevenites, today's documentary is on the Ace family. We will be swiping the floor with Austin McBroom. Oh god. Luke, that was totally not funny. You'll be using you as a broom next. I don't care who you are, I will speak what I want to speak, and if I have facts to speak, it will be said. Point blank period, I don't care who you are. I Multiple of you people come to our house every day, take pictures of our home, Catherine and I have talked about this, not a lot, but we've mentioned it to you guys before that you guys come to our house every day, take pictures of our house, make videos in front of our house, like it's a zoo. Aw, oh, smoked, bro. Anything you gotta say to the Ace family? They finally caught me slipping, guys. They finally caught him slipping on his birthday. Oh, my birthday. I get it. But we weren't even speeding, though, right? No, no, we was going like 20. Oh, no. There's no way he rated you. If you don't know who the Ace family are, they have a channel which has over 17.6 million subscribers. The channel involves Austin McBroom, his wife, Catherine Payers, I think that's how you pronounce her name, and their two children, Elle and Elia. It's surprising to see how many family channels are making a lot of money these days. We've got Ryan's Toy Review. They're bloody rich, aren't they? They're richer than me. I barely got anything. I can only afford a camera and lighting and a microphone. They can afford a bloody 17 million dollar house. Wow. I hate people like that, honestly. What concerns me the most is that they don't give their kids any privacy as they spied on them in public. God, yeah. As a screenshot show, you're not the best, really. Bloody hell. It's worse than when I nearly got caught by my own mum. Now that's a story for another day. Let's delve into the past of their channel. They first created this amazing channel on the 10th of January 2016. Oh my god, I was only 14 at that time. Jesus Christ, six days after my birthday. I am one lucky bastard, aren't I? The first video that was uploaded onto their channel was called The Ace Family Q&A, our first YouTube video. You gotta love Q&As, that's how my channel was formed. Well, that's when I realised that no one cared what I like doing in my spare time. Just because I like playing with my tripod. Shame on you all, you dirty minded freaks. I must go to bed and cry myself to sleep. I hate you all. You've caused my life misery, you know. You've made my job so much more complicated. These stupid questions are the reasons why I haven't blown up on YouTube yet. This Q&A is way better than my first one. I was only 15 when filming, so excuse my high-pitched voice. Let's play a little clip of it because uh, you will be interested to know if you're new to the channel. Hello guys, what's up? Luke Stevens Vlogs here today. We will be doing um, a Q&A today. Um, I don't know how to start this off, sorry. Um, okay, should we go to the first question? The first question is... What, what's the worst grade you got on the test? Oh, to be honest, I hardly remember. I had a high-pitched voice, I was cringy as fuck. I'm so sorry. I shall be sending you a card apologising. Shit. Moving back to the Ace family. So as you guys have guessed, they have a lot of money. Ooh. More money than I've ever had. I've only ever had 2p in my bank account. They've recently moved into a 10 million dollar house. Austin, do you mind if I could sweep your floors? I'll only charge 1,000 dollar an hour. It's not that bad. I could even move in with you. I could be your roommate. Oh, that would be great. Right, I've been Detective Luke for a day. I've done some research about what Austin and Catherine's previous jobs were. But unfortunately, they didn't give me a great result. Jesus Christ, not many social media stars are getting jobs these days. Education's important these days, and you don't want to waste any years. It says for a sophomore year, if, I, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm not American, I'm so sorry, correct me if I'm wrong. He went to St. Louis University. Yeah, and finished his final year in Eastern Washington University. What I don't get about this is that, why did he have to go to two universities? There's got to be a reason. Knowing Austin, he probably aced all of his exams. Yeah, he's probably a smart, smart bloke, you know? A very smart bloke. We all know what happens in colleges and unis. The sweet, lovely interaction between a male and female. And the same sex. 
Oh, it's brilliant, isn't it? It's absolutely wonderful. The birds and the bees. Until you get pregnant. Moving on, we are going to talk about the controversies the Ace family have been involved in. It has all escalated from Austin McBroom cheating on his wife. There have been many accusations placed on Austin, some with evidence and others who have just like attention seeking. That's the problem with social media these days, guys. Yeah, you're just gonna get a lot of hate for it. You're obviously gonna end up in some sort of unfortunate situation. There was a beauty YouTuber that exposed the Ace family. His name's Cole Carrybag. Shit, sorry, I've been going to Tesco too much. His name is Cole Carrigan. He's gonna accuse me of bribing him now. Fuck. Basically, Cole started texting Keem, asking how much the Ace family paid him to not make a drama alert video about it. And he said 500,000, which you can see is him being sarcastic. Let's check out Cole's video. We are going to have to change the tone, because, yeah, he's been striking people's videos. And if he strikes this channel, I'm going to be going absolutely mental. What's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a few weeks now. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm doing a Halloween series where I'm posting 31 makeup looks this month, so it has definitely occupied a lot of my time. This type of video is something that I immediately needed to sit down and film as soon as I came to the conclusion that it was necessary. Before I continue playing the video, doesn't the zoom ins and fuck off? Before I continue playing the video, doesn't the unfocusing and focusing give you a little bit of a headache? I thought, as a previous Team 10 member, you should learn how to set up your own camera. You should check it before you start filming. That's what I do. Wait, hold on, my camera doesn't even go out of focus. I will speak what I want to speak, and if I have facts to speak, it will be said. Point blank period. I don't care who you are, I don't care if you're the Ace family. This information, which must remain private at all times. Yeah, it could potentially end your career, couldn't it? You being Cole, you have to release it. I'm pretty sure there's information on you that you don't want to be released. Yeah. What have you been doing with James Charles now, Cole? Surely, any sort of allegation such as rape should have a police involved, but it all seems to be handled out online, potentially making the situations much worse. This is the wrong way to go around with it. If you are about to accuse someone of doing something, Make sure you're actually correct. You need to think twice about what you're doing. Moving on to the last topic that we're looking at, has the Ace family been involved with the police? And that is a question that's really interesting me. There was a video released on May the 21st on Austin's channel called, I almost got arrested on my birthday, but it ended up being the best birthday ever. He got stopped by the police for speeding. Yeah, this is the biggest clickbait I've ever seen. This is worse than Morg's channel, to be honest. We all know this is clickbait because you don't get arrested for speeding. Unless you are under the influence of drugs or alcohol and you fail to stop. They also released a video called Someone Broke Into Our House. And this was released on the 17th of August 2018. That's one disadvantage of being famous. The unwelcome guests, the paparazzi, everyone wanting a picture with you and potentially killing you as well. It's risky, you know? It's very risky out there. The online world is terrible. It's worse than it was 10 years ago, isn't it? Yeah, put ads on everything. It's the worst thing to do, isn't it? Whenever you have drama starting up, people put ads. It's so weird. It's like, for example, Jeffree Star, if he started controversy with James Charles all over again, he'd probably put ads on his video as well. It's just how you make money these days. You have to do everything to survive. Right, this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button, turn the post notifications on, otherwise I'll be sending an angry letter to your house and you wouldn't want that. And please comment down below what part of this video you enjoyed, any improvements, anything you could add, that would be awesome. All my links to my social media should be down below in the description. And we have my Instagram here, coming right this way. Please add that. I'm, I'm lonely, I need someone to talk to. Anyway, peace out, stay awesome, have a great day, and I shall see you in the next video.